What's up you beautiful people of the internet? Welcome back to another episode. My name is John Huynh and welcome back to another slice of my life. So today we're going to continue with Sensi Buddies. So we're well into November. It is about the first week of November now. So Halloween is technically over. However, I think I want to keep continuing with a couple of my uh, Halloween collections here ongoing because I think uh, pumpkins and all that stuff is still pretty much relevant all the way until um, November until at least until after Thanksgiving that's when Christmas kind of kicks into full gear so without further ado we're gonna be talking about a couple of Scentsy Buddies so these are called uh, itty bitty buddies so they're definitely not the full size 12 or 16 inch uh, plushies that I've shown before and they're not the uh, 12 inch uh, keychain so um, these don't have keychains, so that's the only difference between um, Buddy Clips, Sensi Buddies, and Itty Bitty Buddies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring them out. Um, before we get into the in-depth overview, I just want to showcase um, these for you guys. So these are the four I have today. So let's go ahead and go over them one by one, shall we? So um, I've had these out for... Um, since september i think like late september all the way through october i've had them out in my uh living room so the first one we have here is called the sensi bitty buddy bat so right here so as you guys can see this has the uh caramel apple craze uh scent right here so they're all scented of course if you're familiar with my other sensi buddy uh videos um and this one's called the sensi bitty buddy jack-o-lantern and this one's also the caramel craze right there as well as you guys can see so um there is that and then we have the Sensi Bitty Buddy Spider with Caramel Apple Craze as well. I'm not super crazy about how all of these have the same scent, but it is what it is, right guys? Um, and then last but not least, I have the Batista the Bat. So this one actually has a name while the other ones were generic. Um, I know that Sensi generally tends to name every character that they have. So I don't know what happened over there. They gave them all very generic. Um, names of exactly what it is uh, but this one is Batista and this one is a buddy clip not an itty bitty buddy so this one does have a little keychain uh, that you can hang on to something so go ahead and show that to you guys after uh, we get to our in-depth overview of all of our itty bitty buddies so I guess uh, I got three itty bitty buddies and one buddy clip and um, uh, Batista the Bat I think is a 12 inch sure if not something close but anyways let's go ahead and get into our in-depth overview and i'll show you guys exactly what they all are um generally i like to do one video per character but because i have so many of them and they're not really much to talk about we're gonna go ahead and lump them all into one video so i'll catch you guys in a bit all right what's up welcome back to the in-depth overview as you can notice that we are not in my normal um in-depth overview section so Unfortunately, the setup isn't gonna work at the moment. So this is what I have as a backup. And I think if I like it enough when I'm editing it, this may be the permanent new spot to do my in-depth overview. Um, the only thing I don't like is the camera setup right now is, um, yeah, it's really hard for me because there's not a lot of um, space for me to set up a, a camera. So we'll have to figure that out in the future. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with the Jack Lantern first. We're gonna go um, to the left after that. And uh, yeah, just look at this bad boy right here. So of course it is scented from Scentsy and uh, this is gonna be their caramel apple craze um, scent. And uh, here is the picture of what your Scentsy Bitty Buddy looks like inside. And uh, one thing I really gotta point out every time uh, is how well Scentsy does um, their art so whether it's box art sticker art like this um, for their containers whether you know no matter what they do such an amazing job I mean just look at this so on the top here as you guys notice that we have um, you know we got the jack-o-lantern itself we have a bat we got like a tree um, we have this two colored um, window right here with some cobwebs uh, we have different faces and uh, a spider um the moon some stars it's just really really nice like it's it's full and it feels lively which i really like um and it makes keeping these packages just uh so much more valuable um i can't i can't find myself to throw this out uh especially since the companies are itty bitty buddies in here 
um but yeah i mean that's really cool you know and um yeah shout out to sensi for doing such a great job with this pr thing you know um as far as i know i don't think they sell these in any retail stores at all you can only get them online or from someone who is a consultant which is like a like a sales rep for them um so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and un open this and show you guys what's inside so this has been sitting in my living room for the past month and a half like i said um so he's not super duper uh, smelly anymore but um i did have him on my shelf earlier um before i started filming and uh, i could definitely smell it uh, a little bit if you're within like a two to three foot radius it's got a pleasant smell still uh, not super pungent anymore but uh regardless still really good um and uh, i gotta say the quality material for sensi is just amazing like uh this area here this is embroidered for his mouth embroidered right here and then all this orange fuzz right here just feels premium like it's super duper soft um his eyes are embroidered on the top we have this felt like material here for his little leaf and then um this material is like a corduroy material so corduroy is a very staple thing that they include in all of their sensi buddy um this corduroy is a is like a pattern that is iconic for um all sensi buddies so the little stem right here is like a corduroy material it's also very soft and of course we got the tag it says sensi buddy and of course uh star this one doesn't have the box but um it still has a star for their sensi buddy logo but um yeah still very um very cute i mean it's just super duper soft i mean um i don't know what it is it's like a memory foam material so if you squeeze it it takes a while for it to go back into its normal shape you can see <laughs> i'm squishing it sideways and then boom now it's back into a ball which makes um storing storing these very nice because when you don't want them or you want to keep them in there you just want to take them out and you want to put them back in boom just like that and then um, if you do it in the correct way then you won't damage this felt on the top um, and that ball shape for the rest of the jack lantern um, may be squished but once you take it out it goes back into its full shape in a matter of seconds so isn't that freaking cute or what um, but yeah anyways let's go ahead and continue with the rest of them so um, while handling them you can definitely feel or smell the transfer of the scent onto your fingers I definitely smell that caramel apple craze on my finger so it still has a very uh, decent scent left all right so moving on to our next sensi buddy it bitty buddy is gonna be the spider right here I'm not a spiders man but um I would say he's cute enough to have around um, anyone who have who has arachnophobia like my cousin I feel so sorry but um, our friend here is not too bad and uh, again highlighting the um, the art here it is slightly different from their jack-o'-lantern of course there's definitely more spiders on this one um, all colors and sizes this is like i mean just look we got black ones we got blue one orange purple um and then we have these um emojis right here or expressions um and then we have like a chandelier and a ton of cobweb and of course a two color uh window sills and uh yeah it's just really nice i mean come on props to sensi all right let's go ahead and get them out boom so um very much like our other friend um same ball shape but um he's got these little legs and uh it's like a felt material definitely uh, more rough than the um the leaf for the jack-o'-lantern um as you can see they kind of bend right here it's like a two-part so they sew it together right here so definitely not the uh my most favorite material i would say but i mean it gets the job done to get the legs in there um and um i guess it, when you fold it and put it in there it doesn't uh get too damaged or permanently um you know stuck in a position or whatever um and then at the bottom right here you can see that corduroy material so pretty much this corduroy material is all around and then um you know around here they have this fur this fabric it's really nice and um for the eyes it's embroidered and the little mouth with the little fangs is embroidered of course we got the sensi buddy logo back here and the tags so yeah there we go so when i had them open i had them stand up 
on their little cases just like that. Um, <clears throat> and I only had those two open because they were both the same scent, so we didn't want to open up the other two and uh, make them run out of their scents. So we just had the spider and the jack-o'-lantern uh, up all month long. So yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to our uh, one bitty or Scentsy Buddy clip right here. So this one's gonna be uh, Batista the Bat. So like I was saying, uh, the Buddy Clips has a little key ring on there so you can attach it to like a backpack or anything uh, that you can hook it onto. And um, yeah, so these ones are definitely uh, usually a bit bigger, more dense, different materials. Um, I would say the Bitty Buddies, oops. The Bitty Buddies are the smallest and then um, it would come to the Buddy Clips. And then uh, of course our regular Scentsy Buddies. Um, so like I was saying earlier, Batista the Bat, this one has a name. Generally, Sensi will give every character a name, but of course for these two, uh, they don't have a name, or, or at least these three don't have names. Um, so which is kind of odd. I don't know why Batista the Bat gets a, gets a name, but then that bat over there is just called a bat. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. But anyways, as you guys noticed that this one's called Gimme Candy. It is no longer the caramel apple craze like those three. Um, so this one's slightly different. And uh, yeah, let's look at the box art or the art right here. So you can see um, it has like, a, this is really cute. It's like a candy can or candy corn with some bat wings, a little spider cobweb. We got a broom. We have a ghost, some bats, witch's hat, and uh, you know some little sparkles here and there. It's just really cute. I mean, like, come on, come on. So. Batista the Bat. Let's go ahead and take him out. This will be my first time um, taking him out of his box since I purchased him. And uh, here, so as you can see right here, here is the little key ring. So you can put him anywhere you want that will take this key ring. And basically he just hangs upside down like this. And uh, I think he has Velcro wings. Wow, is that's really cool. Come on, check this out. It's got a Velcro point on his wings right here. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. So his wing inside has this kind of like a, it's like a, a, a more rough texture, um, but it's like shiny, it's like purple, it's like glittery inside. And then his stomach is nice and fuzzy, different from those two so far. The material is just very different. Um, wow, this is nice. And then he's got like little beads for eyes, not embroidered, not um, colored in. His nose is a nice soft material. His ears are the same material as his inside of his wings. And then on the outside has the signature corduroy. And then, um, oh wow, what's this? On his little feet, see, it has a, a sensi embroidered sensi um, wording right here and then um, on the back it has the box with a star in it so I'm guessing the sensi clip buddies are kind of similar to the sensi buddies they have um, the same sensi embroidered signage right here and then they have the box with the star and um, that's really cool I'm so glad I picked up Batista so Look at him, he's all wrapped up, ready to take his little nap right here. Oh, so cute. Wow, that's awesome. I really like Batista, I'm glad I got him. He's super duper adorable. So. So sorry, yeah, I was trying to smell him, see if I can identify any differences. I definitely don't smell any apple with um, Batista. He does still have a caramel scent, but um, it's definitely a lot sweeter. It's a little different. Um, I would even argue it, it smells kind of savory, kind of salty. I don't know what it is, but um, it smells really good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see if he can hang out without falling in all the way. And then we'll put him right there. Wow. Oh, Batista, so cute. All right, so moving right along, we got Scentsy Bitty Buddy Bat, and then this one is gonna be the Caramel Apple Craze. And um, again, let's look at the art cover right here. So 
Um, we got lots of bats, lots of bats. We got a moon, a full moon. We have a crescent moon. We have some eyes. We got trees, cobwebs. Uh, this one's like a trio of colors on the window panels. It's like a yellow, like a dark orange uh, or yellow orange. We got orange and purple. So that's really cool. And then we got like a nice lime green text back here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get them open. Boom. Oh, that was so cute. He kind of like opened up and said, hi. And wow, look at that. So this bat also has a um, similar thing going on. So that shiny material is on the inside. This one is green. Um, he has, a, has it in his ears as well right here so as you can see in his ears and just look at that it's just beautiful and then you guys notice on this one the face the face right here has that coral material there's embroidered eyeball and then his little mouth and fangs is embroidered and then everywhere else has that fuzzy uh, material and this material right here is even more different um, this one's not present on the other two on the spider or the jack-o-lantern um, and definitely not present on uh, Batista, so this is a different material. I'm not a material expert, so I can't really tell what it is, but it's soft, but not the, it's not as soft as the, the body. And of course, we got the star, no box, and um, the Sensi Buddy uh, tag right here. I don't know why it's upside down. That's interesting. Is it because he's a bat? He's supposed to be displayed like this. Um, but boom, peekaboo. That's really cool. Yeah, so this one I we didn't have on display. He was in his container the whole time, uh, all of October. So his scent is still very pungent. Uh, definitely smells like apple. It's like a Granny Smith apple smell, a little sour in there, um, but smells really good. I definitely do like the car the caramel apple craze a lot more um, than the Gimme Candy one, uh, just because the apple. It's a really nice scent. But yeah, anyways. That is um, our four Scentsy Bitty Buddy slash Buddy Clip that we have for closing out our Halloween for uh, Scentsy itself. These are the only four additional Halloween uh, themed Scentsy Buddies I have in my collection outside of Zero, our faithful dog companion. These are going to be the four that I have. Um, obviously, these are not uh, Disney licensed, but um, again, I mean, I'm just saying, guys, like... I got these two for six bucks each or three. So this bat, the spider and jack-o-lantern, I got them for six bucks each off the Sensi website. They have sales all the darn time. Um, they retail for, I think it was either 12 or 18 bucks, but it went down to $6. So you get a plush that is scented, comes in a cute box or container uh, for $6. That's a, a, a really a no-brainer, guys. I mean, I had them up on display just like this on top of their container um, from late September all the way through October. And for six bucks, they make such a really good uh, display piece. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, wrap up this in-depth overview and go to our outro. And with that said, that's gonna go ahead and conclude our talk about my itty bitty buddy slash uh, clip buddy. Uh, for Halloween themed stuff so really cute stuff I really like these Sensi Buddy stuff these are of course not Disney licensed products which doesn't mean that I'm gonna go ahead and skip them I thought these were really really good uh, decoration pieces to have around during uh, Halloween season um, my mom is a huge scent person so these had really good scents and she really liked having these uh, opened um, and displayed in our living room and it, it gave a pretty potent smell for the first week and then it slowly kind of died away which is to be expected but if you actually pick them up and leave them nearby you they still have a decent scent I think it went from like uh, like a six seven foot radius down to like a three foot radius so if you're in it if you really have it like close to your desk you're gonna still be able to smell it and these have been open for about a month and at least a half or at least a week so you know these are definitely lasting for a decent amount of time and um the trick is if you guys don't want to use these just stuff them in the in their container keep them sealed and they should retain their scent for a lot longer um than what what i did was you know keeping them out and 
uh, yeah, using up the sand. So anyways, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope to see you guys again in the future. And uh, we'll definitely be talking about more Sensi Buddies, especially licensed ones. So bye.